when I pulled up my phone and looked at where the earthquake occurred, I knew that it was not going to be a good situation. Convoy of Hope is an organization that helps people who have been impacted by a disaster. So we responded thinking through not just the immediate relief, but long-term recovery. Throughout Convoy of Hope, everybody knows that we're going to be responding to the Nepali earthquake. There's this constant conversation that's taking place between the disaster response team, the global program team, and communication. Without collaboration, I think almost everything's a failure from the very beginning. Our goal in responding to a disaster is to serve alongside local leaders and with community members because that creates the greatest impact. Because of that collaboration, we're able to see who the key leaders are and we're able to see the gaps where people can utilize our strengths. We don't have the context of what life is like in that region. So we're reliant on learning. We were told we were gonna have a community meeting. And the first group I was gonna meet was the leaders of the community. It was about 20 women they wanted to learn, they wanted us to learn, they wanted their community to grow. Nothing was gonna stop them. They just needed a little help. It became clear that there would be opportunities to do a feeding program for kids and also to help with agriculture. Then we would start listening to them. What is it that you want to eat? What is it that you wanna grow? You both learn and grow together because it is so collaborative and you're working to solve the problem that's there. We are trying to build resiliency. We want to work for a solution where a community is able to support itself again. When you look at the community today, they're economically stable, they're economically viable. That's just success and it's success that's being owned by the community. All we did is we just helped fill the gaps. What started out of a disaster is now an amazing community of sustainable independence that everybody is looking at from the outside. What can happen when people work together?